Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Alexis. I'm a floral designer. So if you love flowers like I do, go follow my flower account at Flowers by Alexis. I'll link all my links below. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, a lot of people ask me where I get like my plugs and like my earrings from. Um, I actually make them. So I thought it'd be like really interesting to show you guys like how I do that. Um, I haven't really seen any videos out there about like how to turn like regular earrings into like stretched ear friendly earrings. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I have like this really cool way that I do it. So um, yeah, thought I'd share it. I take regular tunnels, just like these. I got these off of Amazon. And then I take like any pair of earrings that I found. Um, the set that I'm about to show you, I also got on Amazon. It came with like, I think nine different earrings. I highly recommend go get that. It's like super inexpensive and all the earrings are super cute. Um, so this is just one of the earrings from the sets. As you can see, I took wire and I made this like little loop thing, like you can see here. And then I stick these earrings into this like this yep, like this and then it's kind of like wrapped around the tunnel like that you see what i mean that's pretty much like what i do that's just like what they look like so now i'm going to show you guys like how i actually create the earring so for this project you're going to need tunnels a pair of really sharp clippers thin wire and a pair of regular earrings Link all products used in the description box below. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your pair of earrings and cut off the pointy part. Next, you're going to cut off a small piece of wire about 5 to 6 inches long. Take the wire and bend it around the tunnel to create a wire loop. Take your index finger and make a tight twist to hold and secure the wire loop in place. Put your wire through the earring and make a twist to lock the earring in place. Take your cutters and snip the excess wire ends. And there you have it, dangly gauge earrings. So now I'm just going to repeat this process for all my earrings. Again, all products used will be in the description box below. A key tip is making sure you have good clippers to get those sharp cuts. I was told that once I stretched my ears, I wasn't gonna be able to find any cute earrings. Well, I think with just a little bit of creativity and wire, anything is possible. All right guys, and there you have it. That's how I make my earrings. So they're super easy to install and make. Um, that's just how they turned out. I'm um, just gonna stick them in my earring like normal. And yeah, there you have it. Um, you know, like they they stay they stay in pretty good. Um, they don't feel like any heavier than any regular earring would. If you're allergic to metal like I am, you could take nail polish, like clear nail polish, and just like paint the wire part. So that way the wire won't bother your sensitive ears like mine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I make my earrings. This is what I do to obtain like, like dangly, gauge, stretched ear kind of look. So yeah, um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye!